We haven't arrived for me in order. Stand and recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And on that note, we would like to thank a town employee of 15 years. <laughs> Acknowledge her longtime service to the town as a library assistant, correct? That's correct. Well, Miss yeah. Melissa Bracken, That's thank it. you very much. Thank you, sir. And with great appreciation. A little bit of something in there for you. And uh, the Board of Selectmen thanks you very much for everything that you do. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. The appreciation I can use. <laughs> Thank you, mate. <laughs> thank you, yeah. Thank you so much. Right. Andy? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. And John. <coughs> thank you. For thank you. Help. You're welcome. Two things thank you, you for as a select coming in today. The beach in the library alone. <laughs> <laughs> Hot darn. At this point, I am going to recess the selectmen's meeting and open a public hearing on the highway block fund, fund, bleh, fund, grand fund, fund, yeah, or something like that. Do we have the uh, actual? Yeah, no. It's in the correspondence. Correspondence, sorry about that. Thank you. The Board of Selectmen will hold a public hearing in accordance with RSA 31 colon 95-B on Monday, August 21st, 2017 at 5.30 p.m. The hearing shall be held for the purpose of accepting public input regarding the acceptance of unanticipated donations of over $10,000 to the town of Deerfield for the purpose of road work resulting from additional highway block grant funding. This funding was appropriated by the legislature in SB 38 for road work. The hearing shall be held in the downstairs conference room, the George B. White Building 8 Raymond Road, Deerfield, New Hampshire. And we received $126,130.50. Is there any public comment on whether or not the Board of Selectmen should accept this money for its purpose? Sure, why not? There you go. <laughs> I'm now going to close the public hearing and reconvene the Selectmen's uh, meeting and uh, ask what does the Board wish to do? Accept it. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? And that yes. is that. Thank you for your comments, sir. When, when will that arrive? We find out actually it's here. We have the check, don't check we? Or, I think we do. Yeah. So it's not going to be going right on it. Yeah. Beautiful. We've got one project planned for that entire amount. Right. Okay. Range. Review of outstanding minutes for the 7th of August. I would note that I will abstain from participation and acceptance as I was not here. Motion to approve. Second. And any discussion? Yes. Mr. Shu. <laughs> um, which page is it? Page four. Uh, under citizens' comments, Parks and Rec. We had a couple changes to that. Parks and Rec was approached, and it should it should scratch out as well as Selectman Shoot received emails. Um, the third sentence down at the end, Selectman Shoot suggested uh, people with issues to mail a letter to the um, suggested mail a letter to VZ Park Commission, not Parks and Rec. And then to the Board of Selectmen. Yeah, and then to the Board of Selectmen. Uh, the next sentence, Selectman Shoot um, suggested some signage be put up. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The eighth sentence down, uh, this is before the Parks and Rec Commission, and it sh should be uh, VZ Park Commission come before the Board of Selectmen to get the issue resolved. Mm hmm. When I have the changes, I'll give these to John. Okay. 
That was it. Anyone else? I was just interested in the sign, but I wasn't here. All right, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> All right, let's pay some bills. <coughs> I have an accounts payable manifest in the amount of $30,874.21. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Intend to cut wood or timber. I'm sorry, I have a timber lack tax levy in the amount of $530.44 to Peter Van Berkham. Make a motion that we collect our tax. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Timber tax levy in the amount of $432.20 to Norma Kosky, Perry, Perry Road. Motion to collect. Second. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? John, did we ever sign the intent to cut? You have one, you don't have one in here, do you? Do not think so. Briggs, Briggs, Smith. Let me look into it. We did sign the Van Burkle one. I remember the Van Bergen one. Yeah. I don't remember. I think we would have. I would remember an intent to cut. Yeah, Bergen. and usually it's a no. The Van Bergen one is in the packet and attached. Usually it's two or three pages in. So then, what? Why don't I just give it back and I'll? Well, no, no, no. We'll we, sign we can sign the intent can. to cut, and then there is there is a motion to collect the tax. Okay. So first, there is a motion. Uh, no more. You don't need it. Don't need it. No notice of intent to cut wood or timber. So why don't we just sign that along with the authorization to collect the tax? So there's three places on this one, gentlemen. At some point, I think we might need to take a little harder line with the intent to cut, so the guys that are doing this cutting know that we need an intent to cut in here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, getting the request or, or intent to cut when we levy the tax is the final. A little bit much. <laughs> it seems a little odd. I can understand if it's a homeowner that's you know, doing their own lot or something, but most of these are logging companies that, mm -hmm. with they, Forrester. They know. They all know exactly how it's supposed to work. And, and it's not a matter of us voting it down or anything. It's just a matter of us signing the darn thing. Mm -hmm. Kevin asked for the wrong amount. The combination of both of those was the correct amount. That's okay. why you're having a correction now. All right. The, from the tax, an abatement request from a town clerk tax collector. On June 23rd, we sent out letters to taxpayers with delinquent 2016 taxes stating that on a... July 24, 2017, if payment was not received, the taxes would go to lien. On July 23, 2017, Tina Stevenson's mother came to my office to pay the 2016 taxes for a property at 15 Sunset Lane. Lobby was busy, so she put the check in the mail slot in the door. Unfortunately, the check did not reference the location or the name of the property. I sent out a letter stating the situation to the name on the check. On July 31st, I received a phone call from her granddaughter explaining the error. We were requesting a $28.04 lien 
execution fee be abated. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 So what we did two weeks ago was just for the taxes and was not the correct amount. Right. Okay. This is the the this additional is, dollars. Is right. right. Okay. The these the lien fee on the seventh was eighteen fifty. We abated. We abated an additional twenty eight oh four. One place. Yes. All right. So uh, everyone is aware that uh, Metrocast has been sold to Atlantic Broadband. We have here a resolution that we can sign approving that sale. Or if we do absolutely nothing for 120 days, it is considered our approval. Yes, sir. Yeah, I would make a motion that we sign it. Second. Rather have the uh, chairman sign it. Yeah, and I would just point out that we've tried uh, in the past to get other parties interested in competitively bidding Deerfield, and we've had no one interested at all. Mm hmm So, um, the motion for the chairman to sign, pass, and adopt this resolution, a resolution approving the transfer of the cable television franchise granted by the town of Deerfield from Metrocast to Atlantic Broadband. All those in favor? Say aye. 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 Opposed? I'm the guy from Comcast. So if you have how many households? What, don't some people get Comcast? Uh, if you get it over, I think you can get it over the internet or something, right. but you can't. I just want somebody to give me this, that, that, and this. Yeah. You know, I don't have to buy yeah. the whole thing. My numbers were. Yeah. No. that. I have an intent to cut wood or timber, Daniel and Bradley Briggs, Middle Road. I'm sorry, I was just looking. What am I supposed to open the bids? Lakes or Whatever. Under old business. Mm -hmm. Intent to cut. <laughs> also, Daniel and Meredith Briggs uh, on South Road. And an intent to cut. John and Susan Smith on Mountain Road. to the board of selection. All right. Somebody declared bankruptcy, but I have no idea who they are. I th yes, sir? probably got that. I don't know if there are taxes in the rear, but there usually are. Usually. I, they weren't on the list. Oh, really? Good. Hmm. Administrator's report. First thing I wanted to mention is uh, the remodel for the tax 
collector town clerk office and assessing office been completed. The floors have been refinished, the ceilings have been redone, and the new LED lamps have all been installed. Mm -hmm. So if you have an opportunity to look at those two offices, I recommend you do so. They, uh, they're completed and they look, they look nice. Part of the moving out uh, was uh, making sure that anything that wasn't needed was not going back in the offices. One of those things was an old safe, which I've been told came over from town hall. Uh, the combination was lost long ago and it has never been locked since it's been over here. Uh, the town clerk has indicated he doesn't need it. Uh, the only suggestion at this point were, would be to get a locksmith in here to recombination it if we wanted to. Other than that, it is currently sitting out in the hallway um, for your decision as to what you'd like to do with it. Uh, before it goes anywhere else because as you can imagine it's heavy. Yes, sir. I was just wondering does it have any value at Harding's? Mm, yeah Metal that's about its only value. Yeah. It's really heavy and it's <laughs> oh. very plain and we can't use it. I, I was going to suggest we surplus it or Take it and see how much money we can get for it Killing the employees loading it on Yeah, that's the other problem uh, probably could be you a hand truck could probably be used to move it but getting it into a vehicle to convey it somewhere we don't really have a vehicle with a lift yeah so maybe, maybe we could donate to jim smith <laughs> come down with his ramp truck yeah, <laughs> as long as he goes to hardings so do we want to authorize the town administrator to do whatever he needs to do to yes. get rid of it? Yeah. Okay. Um, I have an update on our main trash compactor at the dump. It's currently not in operation. Uh, the transfer station manager is currently searching for replacement parts and late this afternoon was told he has the parts being sent that he's looking for their capacitors that go inside the, the um, phase generator. And he's currently got a backup one in operation, so town folk are still having some place to dump their trash. But I will keep you posted on that. The hope is to have it back up and running as soon as those parts come in. Uh, I also received a call from uh, the town administrator in Allenstown inquiring uh, if we would be interested, Deerfield would be interested in a shared position for the building inspector slash health officer. They are currently looking uh, for similar arrangements in, in surrounding communities, and they, and they were reaching out to us to see what we would be willing to uh, look at. I, I guess I would lead with I don't know that we're in a position where that would work for us right now. No, uh, the other duties. No. That he has. They were also looking for possibility of a shared fire chief. <laughs> Matt, do you have a compactor's license? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I would like to send the, the, the administrator a, a notice that uh, at this point we don't think that we can accommodate. Uh, We've done that in the past. Though. Yes, we have. And do you exactly. remember? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> very smoothly for us. So oh, didn't we have a shared animal control we with did. Northwood? We had a shared ACO with Northwood, and we had a shared building and health inspector with Nottingham yes. for a while, too. I will relay the message. Okay. That's it for me. Any questions for the town administrator? No. Yes, sir. Maybe this, I don't know if this is time. Did we get any re request to bid the transfer station? We did not. I'm suggesting we repost it. I'm going to put it in the paper. Um, well, the problem was is the week that it was supposed to happen and we were closed. So Mid what on the transit? The, tra the uh, lean-to roof on the side. Okay. Nobody could come in to get plans that week. So why don't we try reposting it? I'll put it out and have it ready for our next meeting in September. Okay. Yes, sir. Changed my mind. Didn't have, did have a question. Did, uh, did you, were you able to get a letter off to uh, Northwood to explaining the... The fact that Gulf Road serves so mostly Northwood. Yep. I'm still waiting on quotes with how much all the signage okay. that they requested. Mm -hmm. As soon as I have those figures, then I have something to good. ask okay. for them to chip in with. Yep. But I haven't forgotten. Very good. Yep. 
All right. I'm going to move on to unfinished business regarding uh, Yanni's pizzeria lease. Has everyone here read the copy of the lease? Yep. Leaving it ready? Uh, all right, so I don't understand that one. Yeah, okay. Um, we're gonna we're looking to do a five-year uh, lease from October first, two thousand seventeen, through September thirtieth, two thousand twenty-two, with a rent due of seven hundred dollars per month. And it's basically boilerplate. Anyone have any questions about that? All right, could I get a motion for the uh, board to sign the lease with Yanni's? So moved. Second. So, any more discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Say things have gone more smoothly with just two tenants. <laughs> well, um, the town administrator is in, uh, or about to become in discussion with the other tenant about a lease. Good. All right. Um, again, under new business, Deerfield Board of Selectmen is seeking bids for diesel fuel for the 2017-2018 season for approximately 8,000 gallons. Question may be directed to Mark Young, Highway Agent, at 603-463-7736. Please mark each bid clearly with 2017 Town of Deerfield, Town Diesel Fuel 06-1. All bids must be received at the Board of Selectmen's office by no later than Monday, August 21st, 2017, by 2 p.m. Mail all sealed bids to the Board of Selectmen, 8 Raymond Road, P.O. Box 159, Deerfield, New Hampshire, 03037. Town of Deerfield reserves the right to reject any and all bids. I have one bid, the diesel fuel. If you remember, the, the diesel fuel that we got on uh, the bid from Rhymes was premium. Mm, right. And he didn't, he didn't recommend that we get the regular diesel because we'd have to add additive to it. Yeah, if we bought it from Sprague. We didn't get, um, but it wasn't awarded. Though. It was just, so we didn't just award just it, but we right. talked about it. Um, so we put it out for a rebid. I have one bid here, and it's from Irving Oil. Excuse me, did Rhymes get a chance to bid it as a regular? I never heard anything back. He knew about it. We did. They were notified that we were. We explained to, we explained to him that we didn't require premium. Okay. He said, and John, you can help me with this, that if we didn't get premium, we'd have to put all sorts of additive in it because it, it, it really wouldn't work well in the winter. Shelling and waxing. Right. Um, so don't we want premium if no. that's the case? You don't, well, so this again is experience. Okay. You have nobody needs premium diesel, even in the winter. If you buy good diesel, did um, did Mark weigh in on that? Uh, I'm afraid this conversation was just when when I asked Mark if he had had any issues with the current contract of diesel that we have, and, and my understanding it's not premium. He had no problems with any of his trucks last winter. Yeah, that'd be the only. All right. So, any more questions? No, but you, if it's from Irving, do you think you should be opening it? I'm going to open it and I'm not going to vote. And I, and I was just going to go into my spiel of... You're an employee. You know what I mean? So bottom line is this, book, this bid is from Irving. I work for Irving in a different division. I delivered this to the town administrator sealed prior to 2 o'clock today. And I'm not going to vote on this one. Oh, there it is. But this is the only bid that we've received. and all the others. Nobody. They're offering a variable diesel rate 
starting at one dollar and nine four seven point nine four seven a gallon. So one nine. One point nine four seven, so one nine and a half, uh, ninety five cents. Okay. Dollar ninety five. And the rack reference will be fluctuate daily with the market, but the markup over rack is point zero seven one. So. So seven, seven cents. cents. Seven point one cents. I, I. That's the way I see it. Yeah. Over rack. That's. That's really not a bad price, right? And this is re this is non-premium good diesel fuel. <laughs> what was the rate from Rhymes? Mr. Rhymes was going twenty-five to cents over rack price. Was at looking at delivery from Sprague. Okay. Twenty-five cents over Sprague. And that was 2.05015 per gallon that day. I can, I can only talk about experience. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> Irving would also offer the Town of Deerfield employees discounted pricing for their homes. The discount would be 10 cents off the residential posted price for number two fuel and 15%, 15 cents off the residential posted price for propane for employees of the town. I think in the, my recollection is in the past we have not opted to do that. But it's there. Yeah. Or not, it's not, bad not they acted to endorse it as they a They give me anyway. 60 cents off propane. You get 10 cents yeah. off if you pay within so many days anyhow. We need to make a motion to you folks need to decide if you are willing to accept that bid or if you want to continue in another way we the have going price that. today in in one of the stores i was in was two dollars and 47 cents a gallon we haven't gotten uh, much in the way of volume for diesel bids for the last five six years probably what are we currently paying Good question. I don't know what the previous, it was last year's uh, yeah. bid. We usually bid it through the end of June and then. Mm -hmm. Well, but it doesn't matter because it's off the rack. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. it's, it, that jumps around. Right. It, I do recall True. that they didn't give us a fixed price for the, for the 8,000 gallons that we use. It was just a reasonable discount over uh, rack price. Right. Well, okay. I'd make a motion that we go with Irving if, if there's no concern about the premium. Second. Further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? One abstention. And I'm going to abstain. Hmm. Yeah. Diesel fuel. Lovely. So that's three yeas. Three yeas, two abstentions. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, everyone's read the job summary for the fire chief. Yes. We have two things at the back. Actually, the last two um, minimum qualifications required. The first one was the state certifications, hazardous fire material, hazardous materials, fire investigation, or fire inspection, or fire inspection certification to be completed within one year of assuming position. That was a suggestion for Mandy because mm -hmm. Mr. Fisher does not have it but feels that one year would be sufficient to get that. So everyone's okay with that? Yep. yep. Yes. Second one is a specialized operator's license for driving firefighting apparatus. Does such a thing exist, Matt? There's certainly no requirement. There's state classes. Yeah. And, uh, different levels driving all Right. Right. Do you have a CDL? I do. I might have. Okay. I'm comfortable with. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. uh, do you want to remove this line at altogether, or say a CDL license 
would be preferred? Yeah, probably a CDL. I would there's, there's an actual CDL for municipalities for this that is not quite as stringent as what so he, he and I have. You don't need a CDL to right. I think we could say a specialized operator's license for driving firefighter apparatus or equivalent, you know, or something along those lines. Or, or well, what would what would that specialized operator's license be? I, I'm not know. sure. That, that's that, that's where that's what's holding me up. Equivalent the there. experience and certification. But is there is there a specialized? There is no special, so they're they're exempted. Let's drop let's it. Take it out. No yeah. Let's kill it. So, but. Do you want to do CDL, or do you would you would you like to say a CDL would with a tanker endorsement would be preferred, or do you want to just throw it out? I think we I think we should throw out the specialized operator's license and put the uh, you know CDL A or above with tanker certification is preferred. You have an A preferred. Yeah. preferred. You don't want A on there because that means tractor trailer. Oh, yeah, okay. B. Okay, so a CDL B minimum with a tanker endorsement is preferred. And that's just for the chief. So and we, that's just for the chief. Is everyone cap jobs. happy with that yeah, language? Yep. yep. Do you get that language? CDL B minimum preferred. Minimum with a tanker endorsement preferred. So everyone's happy with that language? Mm -hmm. Can I just repeat it to you? Yes. CDLB minimum with a tanker endorsement preferred. Perfect. Everyone's okay with that you one? Yeah. Yep. So could I get a motion to approve? Yep. The, raise, the, raise a question. Yes, sir. Do we currently do after incident reports? For the first fire reporting? Yes. Yeah. Do we? For the state of New Hampshire's uh, fire marshal's website. Oh, okay. All right. Now that, that had come up in a situation in Merrimack and Bedford for uh, had in investigations that I was doing with regard to the use of, uh, of a Class B foam. And uh, the consultant working for the uh, responsible party said, oh, well, the, uh, they had a car fire in one instance and they had a... Uh, at a woods fire in the other another instance and they said well typically they use foam on these so this must have been they must have used the foam and therefore this is another source of uh, uh, p4 uh, contamination uh, in the town of bedford and merrimack and uh, when i got the check with them and got the after incident reports found out that uh, they didn't use foam on either fire so that was um, very helpful to me in my investigation. So it was, uh, I just wanted to make sure that we have a normal policy to do that. It is my understanding that yes. Okay. And they were supporting done through the fire marshal office mm -hmm. the online website. Yep, okay, good. No escape for St. Cobain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I get a, could I get a motion to approve the town Deerfield Fire Chief job description with the amended language? So as specified. So moved. Second. Any further discussion? Matt, have you read this uh, job description? Uh, yeah, well, that's the Anything that you have as a problem? Uh, no, we, we went over a little bit. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So, seeing that we have just finished um, approving the fire chief job agenda, we have received uh, letters from both the rescue squad and the fire association saying that they agreed with our uh, recommendation that Mr. Fisher be appointed the next fire chief. What would the board like to do? Make a motion that we offer the job to Matt Fisher. Second. You want the job? Would you amend your motion to the fact <clears throat> to that as of January 1st, the Board of Selectmen appoint Mr. Matthew Fisher as the fire chief for the town of Deerfield. Okay. Second. Any discussion? 
unless Mark runs to Florida soon. <laughs> All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank Congratulations, you. Chief. And as always, we'll be here to help you in any possible way we can. <laughs> You've seen what a big help we've been today. <laughs> any other business? New? Yes, sir. Yeah, I would just mention that um, Steve called me on Friday morning. It was as much because I was down the street and said that he was meeting with John and yes I'm sorry thank and you Steve Keach about the intersection um, Church Street candy at 107 mm -hmm. and just uh, essentially if there was anything that could be done there yep. to make that safer without a huge expenditure and and Steve talked to all of us had some ideas um, had some ideas for reinstating um, some sort of warning light um, on the corner for wind fire apparatus rolls um, didn't necessarily think we needed to string right across the top of the road. Put a couple of uh, pillars on either side of the road within sight, better, give better sight distance. But um, we had discussed this <coughs> four years ago. Anyway. And um, we came to a roadblock when the pole was there. Right. Took almost three years to get rid of the pole. I decided that we should try and see if we can start it up and see if they can have any proposals. So the bottom line is uh, they're going to work with Mark Young and come up with the best suggestion that they can to make that a little bit of a safer uh, issue. We hope maybe to reinstate the blinking light, but rather, like I said, with, rather than the one that was above, uh, two poles on, on either side that have better sight distance to the traffic coming that the fire department, when they left on a call, could hit the switch and they would go red, and they're going to make suggestions. Mm -hmm. Mark had some concern. I think Mark was interested too, yes. uh, as much. He, he was interested from a safety standpoint, but he also has some concerns about plowing mm -hmm. that area, and had some thoughts about making it narrower in spots that would enhance safety and make it a lot easier to get the snow out of there. Mm. Okay. Number one condition. Number one perfect scenario would be for the state to walk in and just take 600 feet and lower it about eight oh, feet. Yeah. Right. That, that would be the perfect condition. That's not going to happen. So they're, they're going to try and come up with something to make that just a little bit safer. And then they'll present their... Uh, Good. Fair enough? Yep. Thanks for bringing it up, Andy, because I forgot all about that Friday. <laughs> Anyone else? Yes, sir. Uh, I want to throw a little plug into uh, Parks and Rec, Joe Manzi and the, the uh, crew. Uh, I think we... They, we pulled off a good old home day. Absolutely. A lot of events for everywhere from kids to the seniors with bingo and dancing and frog jumping. There were somewhere around 40 something frogs entered in the <laughs> frog jumping. Um, fireworks went off, 400 pounds of chicken, and went really well from what I hear. And it was great. I think Joe and his crew did a great job organizing and getting it done. So. Once again, I had to work. Above and beyond, because uh, if you got down there when Jeff and Ernie first showed up at 8 o'clock, 8.30 in the morning, uh, the whole barbecue pit and central area of the field was under 6 to 8 inches of water. Really? Oh, jeez. Got some pumped out over the course of the morning, and then they backfilled the barbecue pit with crushed stones so we could have a fire because it was still pretty swampy. <laughs> you could release your frogs directly yeah, after in the frog jumping into the wetlands. Some frogs out of there. <laughs> It went, yeah, thanks to the highway department for putting a load of stone in the pit, too. It was easier than trying to move it. So everything I've heard about it in the last three days has been absolutely superlative. Uh, it went very well, and uh, I really wish I could have been there. But we'll, we'll pass on to the... Uh, would you like a letter or just... Yeah, we're good. I think okay, we recognition. Think... That's fine. Okay. And, and a big thank you to Andrew for... for uh, Absolutely. Yeah. No, we had uh, a really good, hard-working crew that made it a lot easier. <laughs> Best chicken ever. Indeed. Again, it was a good match. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, any other business? Yes, sir. I think you may have touched on it uh, last week. I didn't comb through the minutes, but I, I want to... Um, start talking about uh, police department or safety services 
you know, as we roll into September here, I think, you know, we had some people that put some time into mm -hmm. the visioning and listening mm -hmm. session that we had early on. Mm -hmm. and I, there have definitely been some ideas discussed, you know, around the perimeter here, and I think we, we need to get public and direct about what our thoughts are um, probably sooner rather than later. Okay. We uh, working towards that? Yeah, maybe next week. Okay. We're not meeting till September 11th. September 11th. So I think we definitely need to start talking about it the next yeah, year. Yeah, because that's going to give I us about four weeks into budget uh, Agree. season. So, anyone else? Citizens' comments. Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Thank you, sir. All those in favor, leave. <laughs>